Hello everybody. <clears throat> We're up here in Ice House Canyon Trail in the San Gabriel Mountains. Beautiful day. It's late June. There's still water in the creek. And water coming out of the springs even though it's been a dry year. And we're here to talk about all these beautiful columbines. Aquilegia formosa. I'm up on this slope here where there's all sorts of springs. And there's water trickling out of the slope. That's where this plant likes it. So it's a semi-riparian plant. Um, here it's growing with monkey flower, a cardinal monkey flower. The tree is our, um, this is an alnus, um, rhombifolia. So this is, forget the common name, <laughs> alder, there we go. And then we have this beautiful incense cedar, cupressus sempervirens. Uh, this equilegia is really nice. We get under here, you could see the flowers. Let's see if we could zoom in. Really cool plant. Really good for pollinators. So this plant likes moist soil. It is a perennial. It can grow in uh, partial shade to full sun, but it's mostly gonna prefer the partial shade. And it's a hummingbird, butterfly, and bee magnet. We've been sitting here seeing all sorts of stuff. Also blooming right next to me is this monkey flower. Let me show it to you, and then I'm gonna be quiet and let you look at the beautiful flowers. Here's that beautiful cardinal monkey flower right here. These plants would be easy to grow in a garden, like in a moist spot, in partial shade. Maybe you have a drippy fa faucet or just a little area that you don't mind giving a little extra water. So again, Columbine, this one is Aquilegia formosa.